Okay, we're still in the Cathedral Paddock here with Stefano Agazzi. Stefano is the head of Alfa Romeo Automobilissimo uh, Storico. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing these Thank cars you. here. They've all come from Arese, Milan? Near Milan, Italy. Where's the collection, the most complete collection in the world of Alfa Romeo historic cars. We take, uh, like every year, five cars to Goodwood for the heel trim. The first one, not in chronological order, but probably the most important because will be driven by Tuane Edzeman, oh. the flying Dutch that the was the most yeah. talented driver at the wheel of the GTA 1.3 Junior. The little beast from Auto Delta that, that was the winner of 1971 and 1972 uh, European um, Championship for uh, Touring Car Challenge. This year we celebrate the 60 years of Giulietta. We take to Gudu to important and the most rare examples of Giulietta. The first one is the Giulietta Sezzetta, designed by Zagato. Zagato has an important history also for uh, Alfa Romeo. The performance of this car are incredible, 1.3 liter, 200 kilometers per hour, 125 miles per hour. This is very light car. Very light car, completely all aluminum body, really aerodynamic with a cam tail that in Italy is Coda Tronca, cat oh, okay. tail. 1960 so cars. How many were made of these, Stefano? Uh, less than uh, 300 cars, because it's the, the last version of uh, Giulietta SZ. So pretty. Yeah, so pretty and so very easy to drive and very uh, exciting to drive. I can imagine. The second car in the team of uh, 60 years of the tribute to Giulietta is 1750 Competizione, is one off. That was uh, uh, produced in 1954 because Alfa Romeo had the opportunity to participate to sports car championship with the Barchetta, but uh, they had to concentrate on the production on the Giulietta, so they stopped the project and remain all, only this car that is exclusively to, for the Alfa Romeo Museum. It has the engine of Giulietta, 1750 the number of project, is not the capacity. 1.5 liter, as you, as you say, 145 horsepower for a, a, a beautiful speed of 220 kilometers per hour. Very, very fast. The styling is completely different from 1950s Alfa because it's made by Boano. Mm -hmm. And the car is very revs up engine and it's very, it's very good for a, a, a contest like Goodwood or a track. Wonderful. And next? Yes, the next now, is... Now, here we go. Yeah, it's a really, really legendary car. Uh, every year, probably, here in Goodwood is the Alfetta 159. Is another car exclusively of Alfa Romeo Museum. This is the car who won the second Formula One World Championship in the history with one Manuel Fangio. This is the Fangio's car. You can recognize the, the front of the car with the yellow and the blue of Argentine car driver. Uh, the, this car is completely working for an incredible power of 425 horsepower from 1.5 liter with supercharger. Incredible. If you calculate the horsepower per liter are about 300. Which even today, yeah, that would be today. astonishing, yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, probably one of the record for the um, uh, power per liter. And the last but not least, the Tipo B, the P3, is another legendary car that if the Alfetta represent the, the situation of racing alphas after, immediately after the war, during the 30s, this is the masterwork of Vittorio Iano, yeah. the P3, are a, a real serial winner because was the winner of all international Grand Prix from 1932 to the end of 1933. Also the epic win of uh, Tazio Nuvolari and Nürburgring on 1935 against Mercedes and Auto Union. The Which he, he should never have won that race, yeah. that was impossible. Yeah, because yeah. The, the P3 in 1935 was a, a completely obsolete car yep. against the German, uh, German Silver Harrows, but he was the winner at uh, Nürburgring. The P3 is the top evolution of the Otto Chi engine that was born in 1931 with double supercharger. The car is really uh, all focused to performance. It's very streamlined, very simple. And the, one of the peculiarity of the car is the uh, rear uh, suspension that are engineered to down with the center of gravity of the, of the driver and other performance during the driving. It's, it's, it's a tremendous honor yeah. to see all these cars here. Uh, they, they have such a very special place in history. Alfa Romeo will, will always have, uh, I think, a special place in the hearts yeah. of, of car yeah. enthusiasts. Yeah. Stefano, thank you Bye. very much thank again. You very much. Thank you.